All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Miss War Revelation. In the last episode, literally nothing happened. In this episode, we're gonna try to make something happen. That's at least what I'm hoping. Sorry, I'm just trying to clear out everything. So, for a while I kept looking at this, and I was just sitting there thinking, maybe, you know, it only needs to... So I found out this is equal to nine, uh, to, um, sorry, I, I don't know why I'm blanking. So this right here has nine spaces. I've confirmed that by looking at the other photo. And the level, or what, at least what, what resembles a level, I guess, I guess the meter for the, uh, electric box I'm sitting in front of right now also has nine things on it. This this thing right here. So so now I know absolutely for certain that this is directly related to this to this meter here. This meter that I'm sitting in front of. I also know that uh regarding the mechanism on the bottom level the one where it descends and you go into that room full of dolls, crystal dolls. I know for a fact that you can't do anything with that yet. Because you need, uh, I think you need, what, 20 crystals to light up before you can actually solve it? And the maximum we can do is 11. And of course there's that one little, uh, there's that one circuit remaining on the, uh, on the island over there. So that tells me that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So what that tells me, of course, is that I need to go over there and get something out of that. <laughs> just just turn it on, basically, and then I may and then I might have twenty, and then I can solve it from there. So anyways, I was I was looking at this. And I was just sitting there and I was going, okay, you know what? Maybe it only needs to get to here, like where this white marker is. So maybe, I guess we can try that. <clears throat> it's, uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a long shot, but we'll try to make it work. So I also know now that when it's going down, let's say it's going down by, so this is even right now. So let's say we wanted to bring this down by three. It's going to end up, so let's say this, the, the very top spot that it's in right now is one. It's not gonna include the spot that it's in as an existing as an existing space it's gonna ignore it and instead it's gonna go down to four instead of number to the fourth level instead of the third level which should have been obvious but uh. so that's on <coughs> I'm gonna look really stupid if I don't get this right <coughs> God, I don't cough all day, I swear. I, I really don't. It's just when I'm here, that's when it fucking starts up and, it's, and it pisses me off every time. Uh, okay, what do I need here? I need, what, three? I can do that. Right? So that's one. 
Yeah, yeah, I got it. This is it. So there's three. Now let's see what happens. So now it's right there. I don't know, maybe something changed here. No, right here, thank you. <clears throat> Still not getting anything, okay. Well, uh, okay. Well, just for a uh, good measure, we can check how many. Okay, so there's one, two, three. Oh, okay, so when all that's why the thing is in. That's why um, the mark is in the seventh spot because you need exactly seven to light it up. I get it. Makes sense. I should have known that, and to be honest, I was thinking that, but it didn't just—it just didn't click with me for some reason. I don't know if that we can inspect this. Wait. Is there actually a mechanism down there? That can let me pull the rock down? If there is, I, I absolutely missed it. Shit, there just might be. Wait. Shit, no there isn't. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. All right, fine. All right, now back to what we were doing. Let's go over to the crystal <clears throat> that we were looking at before and see if anything's changed. Grab the fucking lever, thank you. So anyways, uh, there's a couple things I wanted to mention. The first is that I... fixed the, uh... I actually fixed that video format issue. Well, I found a way to fix it. To always make sure that it's, uh, fixed. Turns out, uh... Sorry, let me turn the turn the noise down just slightly. I found a way to actually uh, fix it permanently just 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 a couple hours ago actually. Turns out all you need to do is go into OBS, click on the preview click on the uh, the preview screen and then just press control F and it will automatically switch it to the revolu to the not revolu resolution of the game. It'll record in that resolution. I did not know that, and I wish I did know that on fucking Tuesday when I recorded an hour and ten minutes, like like 70 minutes of Pathologic, 
which is a game that I was looking forward to playing for a while. And the entire f and I forgot that I switched the format on it, and so the entire video was fucked. There's <laughs> there's a there's nothing you can do to fix it because it's not like where it's up in the corner because I had moved the video. <laughs> it was basically the entire preview screen was literally the top left corner. <laughs> So you're only looking at like a qua like one quadrant of the entire video, and it was the top left one. So you're only seeing part of the screen, basically. <sighs> God, like. <clears throat> so yeah, that entire video was scrapped, and <sighs> yeah, and there's no way to fi there's no fixing that. You can't crop it. It's you can't crop it, of course, because it's it's like it, it already fills the entire screen, but you're only seeing the top left corner of it because I made the mist thing because I made the I adjusted the preview video I adjusted the resolution for mist because it was so fucking small, and now because I adjusted the re and now because I didn't adjust it back, the resolution for the pad logic was too fucking big. And so I just got basically an hour and ten minutes of unusable footage. It should be fine, but it's especially frustrating because it's a fucking blind playthrough is what I wanted it to be. This shit didn't work, did it? Doesn't seem like it did. I don't think it did. Fuck, okay. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, just fucking go back down. <coughs> it's it's frust anyways, it is frustrating because I wanted Pathology to be a blind playthrough. Luckily, I really didn't get that far into the game at all. A lot of it was just me uh, trying to figure out the controls and just sort of learning how the game works. <coughs> It feels like a sibling right in my fucking throat. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So let me open this up. Wait, what? Hold on a minute. Yes! I knew it would work. I knew there was enough static electricity out there to be gathered by my conductors. <laughs> now, to stop wasting it in a useless display of light and actually channel it somewhere. Okay, that was not helpful. Um, okay, so that collection of clips you just saw there was all part of one recording. And that recording was made on August the 1st. It's now the 13th, and I have not touched Mist for since then. Um, I've mainly just been, uh, yeah, I, honestly, I've just, I've been mulling over this for the past, uh, the past few days, and I just, honestly, I'm, uh, oh, God, after 
I don't even know what to say at this point. I just, I literally just hit record and just said, all right, I'm going to improvise. Basically, I'm not going to give up on this four. I'm obviously not going to do that. But seeing as how I've gone through literally about, what, three, four parts now without making any sort of progress whatsoever and getting more and more frustrated as time goes on. It's been resulting in exactly what I was afraid of, which is <laughs> losing the motivation to go into the game and play it. I still want to play it. I just don't want to keep just sludging through it and just trotting along and you know crawling and struggling through it it's it's not worth it it i decided it wasn't it wasn't worth it anymore it's it's not worth just going in circles over and over again especially if if you know i want to complete the game i want to finish it but it's yeah it uh it just isn't working for me so, as much as it pains me to admit it, and as much as it would have been nice to get through the game without using any hints like, like I did with Riven and Miss 3, I'm going to have to wave <laughs> the white flag here, and I'm going to have to call out on some hints. Now, I don't want you to just tell me what to do straight off, straight out of the gate. Just, uh... <laughs> What I want is just some very vague hints. Now, before before you before you go crazy in the comments with with hints, I mean. First of all, as I said, as I just said, I do want them to be as vague as you can without having it be being so abstract that I'm never ever ever going to understand it. But second of all, I do know some things about the puzzle in particular that I'm stuck on, the one on Spire. I know that the crystal, those two giant crystals with the the slide looking things that look very similar to the uh, the meter on the electric box, It's I know those two are connected somehow. The problem is I just can't figure out how. And when you throw in the fact that you can only travel to that one island. You can only travel... When you include the fact that you can only travel into... To, to the other uh, sort of floating island... <laughs> with the meter in one specific position... It's kind of difficult. It's It really is. <laughs> just Just a little bit. I uh I know it's got something to do with that, but I can't I can't figure it out. It's just uh yeah. I I have I'm giving in. I'm uh I surrender. I'm gonna call upon you guys to give me some hints or I don't know. I don't know if I should just call on like one of you. Or you know what? You can choose whether or not you want to give me some hints. You don't have to, but if you want to, then go ahead. Just make them as vague as you possibly can. But not vague to the point where I won't understand it. So, yeah, I'm sorry for the, uh, I'm sorry for the news, and I'm sorry for the, for the, <laughs> from, for my absence as well. I've, uh, I've, I've switched to a new day shift now, which I'm so happy I did, by the way. Now I'm working from, uh, 6.30 a.m. to, uh, 12:30 p.m. on Monday on from Friday through Monday. So it's less hours but I'm working an extra day. But to be honest, it's great cuz uh it doesn't feel like you're working in just the world's biggest morgue. <laughs> it's and also the world's hottest morgue as well. Even though uh they did add a uh, they did they did uh, definitely improve the uh cooling conditions in the warehouse but yeah, it's, uh, I was mainly sort of worried about that. I don't know if I already said that in my pathologic playthrough or not, 
But, uh... Anyways, I'm, I'm just rambling at this point. It's, uh... <laughs> basically, the point is... I'm gonna start using hints now. You don't even... It doesn't need to be just a hint. You just have... You could just, like, sort of point me in the right direction. And then I'll just try and focus on that. But if you want to give me a hint, then uh, I won't hold it against you. I am I am okaying hints now. For the first time in my, what, I don't even know, like three months of doing this. Three, four months, I'm finally just, I'm giving in. I need a hint. I can't do this. So, uh... As I said before, I uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. So uh, you guys take care.